in my instance, visual activism has a lot to do with two things, connecting the visual and my activism, which means that every image that I take has a lot to do with politics. So in my work, I'm pushing a political agenda. My name is uh, Moholi Zanele. Uh, both my names have a meaning. Moholi means leader. That's my last name, my family name. And Zanele, I'm the last born at home, which means nothing really. I'm here at Seattle Art Museum with Somnia Mangonyama, which is a series of black and white uh, self-portraits that are taken over a period of time in which I respond um, to historical moments or events that are taking place at various places in which I find myself in those locations or different locations where I wake up, where I breathe, where I connect, where I converse, where I conflict um, with various forces in place. Um, the aim of this series is to undo uh, racism in the media, in mainstream spaces. The image there on the far right with bonsai trees. And I call the image Zabo, which is like two letters of my name, and B.O. for bonsai, looking at like um, indigenous trees and how they speak to different, you know, nations, spaces, countries. Bonsai is only found in Japan, if I'm not mistaken, unless if it was taken from that space and planted somewhere, which then destroys the nature or the uh, of that particular place, you know. So then we speak of like the plants and also how other seeds are then like privatized for different consumption by those who decide on what should be where, you know. So that's that. And also looking at, you know, the, the absence of a different people who live in that place who are not much spoken about. Where are the Afro-Japanese? What sort of like language or, or space do they commonly you know, occupy? So there's so much that I'm trying to achieve with this work. Ensure that people find themselves in this space or those who are like me, who connect maybe with my race, get to see themselves. Uh, with this work, people would see that it's possible that the gallery is meant to be for everybody, not for a selected few. And also to engage in a matured and constructive way, you know? Because to be honest, we don't have many of us at these spaces, but it's possible that we could penetrate wherever possible. But to say, I so wish that there could be a balance in which we get to hear what people have to say than what we think is what people want to hear. To open up the museum space for conversations, um, let the space be for everybody.